Hey guys, Coach Sean here. So, um, as obviously you know, uh, in Ireland right now, there is a level 5 lockdown. So, all gyms, all leisure centers, everything else is shut. But that doesn't mean we can't train. There's a load of great options out there. And what I'm going to do on my YouTube channel for the next couple of weeks, while we are in a lockdown, is that every Tuesday, Thursday, starting from tonight, starting from right now, we're going to do a 35, 40, 45 minute hit session. So, it's going to change each time. So, today we're going to keep it... Simple enough, as simple as in just, just getting into the flow of things. I'm going to try and switch things up for you guys over these next couple of four to six weeks or whatever it is. But there's no point thinking about that. So let's try and just forget about it for the next couple of minutes. Uh, focus on the workout. All you're going to need for all these workouts is if you have an exercise mat, great. If not, not really that big of a deal. You won't need any equipment apart from that. But I do recommend getting a bottle of water. So um, hopefully you have some water by your side. We're going to get started. What we're going to do today is just a roughly eight, ten minute workout. After that, we're going to go to three blocks, so it's going to be three rounds of 45 seconds on, 15 seconds rest, eight different exercises. I'm going to switch them up for you guys, so there will be something there for everyone of all different fitness levels. It's not going to be 45 seconds burpees and jumping over couches and stuff, let's go. But there will be options there, especially in the second and third round for people to go, Sean, you're taking it a little bit too easy, we need to up the pace a little bit. I will throw some stuff out there for you guys, so no matter what fitness level you're at, you get a great workout in and... Uh, yeah, I've talked way too much there, guys. So we're going to get straight into it. What we're going to do is we're going to start in the ground, work our way up over the next 8, 10 minutes or so, and then straight into our circuit session. So if you've got a mat, we're down on the ground, heels in close to our hips, tucking the hips in, slowly up, right back down. Arch the back, push the back into the ground, slowly up and down. So this is a pretty good exercise if you've got lower back issues. I love doing this one. And the next one with the, the dead bug as well, keep the lower back pushed into the ground. Just kind of helps loosen up my back anyway. And those of you who know me well know I've had a fair few back issues over the years. So we're gonna go for two more reps, just nice and easy, up and squeeze. Last one, up and squeeze. Lower back push to the ground, knees up, kick one leg out, back, other leg out, and back. Um, over the next couple of weeks, I'm going to have no music in these videos, so if you want to pair it up with a bit of Spotify, wherever it is on the background, listen to your own music, and then uh, going on the workout um, might help you keep motivated and just get an extra couple of reps in there as well. So while I'm talking crap, we're going to keep it going for a couple of seconds, slowly kick out back, keep that lower back pin to the ground. If it's a case of your lower back's coming up, don't bring the leg out as far. Last couple of seconds, three two, one, and relax. Okay, up onto all fours. Keep the knees a little bit wider than the shoulder width. Keep the back straight, just sit back into our heels, right back up. Keep the back as straight as we can as we're pushing our, heel, our, our hips right back, I should say, up from there. Good, last couple of seconds. We are starting off slow, but we will be increasing the tempo in the next couple of minutes. And on all fours, arch your back, deep breath in, looking up. Breathe now, push her back up towards the ceiling. Right back down again, arch her back, deep breath in, looking up. And back up towards the ceiling. And one more, deep breath in, looking up. Right back down, back up towards the ceiling. And relax. From there, straight down to an elbow plank, elbow in line with the shoulders, tucking those hips in, squeezing back here. We're going to hold it out for roughly 20 seconds. Now, if you haven't done any of these classes before, you know that roughly means it could be anywhere from 15 to 30 at this stage. So just keep it holding there. Nice and, uh, well, not, not too relaxed on this one. Holding that there. We're warming up our core muscles here. And relax. Okay, what we're going to do is have our right foot up by our right hand. This back leg, bring it up off the ground. From there, your right elbow down towards your right foot. Reach right back. Right elbow towards right foot, reaching right back. Nice and slowly. Good. We're gonna do a couple more. Last two. Last one. And relax. Okay, we're gonna change leg, the exact same thing. So left foot by our left hand, left elbow down, reaching right back. Slowly down, right back. Good. Last three. Two. 
last one. Okay, arm relax. From here we're going to a pressing position, doing it to our shoulder tops over the mat. This will be the main part of a workout. So feet wider than shoulder width, tucking the hips in, hands along our chest, slowly touch the shoulders over the mat. Try not to move our hips side to side. We're keeping it nice and slow. Good. Keep this going for another 10 seconds, guys. Slowly over mat. Three, two, one, and relax. Quick breather for a second. What we're gonna do is back into our pressure position. We're gonna reach back, touch our toes over mat, bring the hips up each time. So, pressure position. Now, if you can't reach your toes, that's okay. Just reach back towards the knees, reach back as much as you can. So, three, two, one, reaching back and touch. Back. There we go, touch there. So, as toes we can touch. If you're struggling to touch, touch the knee, that's okay too. Last 10 seconds. Four, three, two, and relax. Good. Okay, right back up onto our feet. What we're gonna do? Feet shoulder apart, hips back slightly, tend to push the knees and feet out, down low to a squat. Three, two, one, hips back, down, keep the back straight, chest out, nice and low, right back up. Good. Down as low as we can, and back up. Last four, three, two, one, and rack. So now we want to do one knee on the ground, so a right angle here, right angle here. This helps us keep the right distance for our lunges, so we will be doing later, but for now, up we go, back knee down towards the ground, right back up. Eight, seven, let it touch the ground. Six, don't lock out this leg completely, have a little bend when it comes up. Four, I think. Three, two, one, good. Change leg, back down the ground, 45 degrees, 45 degrees, feet shoulder apart, standing up, going from there. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, good. Okay, our next one we're gonna do, hold on to something for support if you need to, but we're gonna bring our right knee up, Kick the leg back, make sure you don't kick anything behind me, and right back up. Okay, so hold on something if you need to. Knee up, back, up again. Same leg each time. And up. Back, and up. Final four. Up, three, up, two. Up, last one, and up. Good, change the legs, same thing. Three, two, one. Back, and up. Back, up. Five, and up. If you have to pause each time, that's okay too. Take your time. We're going to do a fair few of these over the next four to six weeks, so we will get much better. And that's something already right there, to have a goal. Okay, Sean, I'm hating these exercises, can't keep a balance. What's a goal for you guys? Try and get four to six reps in a row without having to touch the ground. By the end of six weeks, we'll all be pros at it. Myself included, hopefully. And relax, good. Okay, our next one, feet slightly wide and shoulder width. You're gonna bring, go down to one side, bring your hips right back. We're gonna do this in the main session as well. Three, two, one, back, and up. Back. And up. So get the right stance. We're sitting down to an ankle under the knee, knee under the hip. If not, then we need to bring the foot in or bring the foot out. So if your hip is not underneath the knee, bring that foot in. If the hip is too far, obviously go a little bit wider on that. Keep this going for 10 seconds, guys. Three, two, one. Okay, let's get the heart rate up a little bit more. Jumping jacks, 20 seconds. Three, two, one, let's go. That's it. Good. A little bit faster. Last 10 seconds. And five, four, three, two, one. And relax. We're gonna do a little sidestep. 
pushing the mat over mat. Three, two, one. So sidestep, little hop, down, little hop, down. If you've got the space, make that jump a lot bigger side to side. If you're struggling with space like I am right now, just a little hop over and back. All we're doing is getting the heart rate up here. A little bit of the legs as well, but getting the heart rate up. Four, three, two, one. Okay, knees up over the hips. So knees up, that's it. Have them higher and your hip each time. Yes, you can do this. Doesn't really count though. Let's try and go right the way up. If you're getting tired, by all means do that. Try and just keep moving. Three, two, one. Good. Last one, what we're gonna do, excuse me, Matt is all over shop already. What we're gonna do is either squat as far as you can for 10 seconds or half squat down, big jump up, go for 10 seconds. Three, two, one, let's go. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Okay, arm relax. Let's get a quick breather there, drink of water, and we will get started. So hopefully that wasn't too bad for you guys. Although, shockingly enough, I'm feeling a bit about myself. That's not a good sign, I haven't started yet. But anyway, give a quick drink of water. So get a bit of water, guys. We're gonna start, eh, next 60 seconds or so. So guys, we're gonna have the clock up on the screen. You probably see it there for a moment, how long we've left in the warm and all the rest. And um, clock up on the screen. You'll be in green in the top corner for 45 seconds dropping, and then the bottom one will have your 15 second rest. And then I'll just keep switching over and back. We're gonna go for eight rounds, so eight different exercises. We will need our mat, we'll be going up and down and all over the shop for the next couple minutes. Our first one is gonna be reverse lunges, stepping back, getting that knee down low each time. And um, take your time on this. Like I said at the start of the video, we're gonna keep it. Um, not easy, but um, I want you to ease into the workout, if that makes sense. So I don't want you to go 100 mile an hour in the very first round, unless you're conditioned, you've done a lot of classes before. By all means, outpace me, go as fast as you can. But I'm gonna slow it down a little bit in the first round, get a technique right, and then in the second and third round, I'm gonna go give you guys different options if you found the first round too easy on making that a little bit more difficult. So I think that was 60 seconds. What we're gonna do, trust and watch here, doing, give me my count of time. We're gonna go for 45 seconds, stepping back, getting that knee down low. Three, two, one, and let's go. So stepping back, knee down, have a slight forward lean on this, guys. So we're focusing on that front leg, and when we're getting that back knee down, make sure the heel doesn't come up on this leg. So back, touch, back, touch. It's getting too difficult, slow it down. Remember, this is session number one for some of you guys. So take it easy. Do what we can. Good. Let's keep this going. Over and back. 10 more seconds. Next one is handy enough. Three, two, one. 15 seconds rest. A bit late now saying that, but we'll go for the next couple rounds. If you start to struggle with that, any issues with your knees, do squats. Our second exercise, all we're doing is jumping jacks. So staying on our toes, over mat, but it's too easy, up the pace on it. Three, two, one, and let's go. So just on our toes, pushing them there, going for these 45 seconds. And then we'll slow it down on the ground. That's it. Let's keep this going. Over mat, keep pushing. Getting that heart rate right the way up. Good. Let's keep it going. And we've got another, oh, still another 15, 16 seconds left. Let's keep going, let's keep going. Push it out. Whew. That's it. A bit faster, guys, then finish. Let's keep going, let's keep going. Almost there. And time, good. Our next exercise, we are down on the ground. What we're gonna do, that plank we did earlier in the warm, go for that. If that's too easy for you guys, 45 seconds, do what I'm gonna do, which is a plank, hit the press up, right back down. Starting in three, two, one, up and down. If you can, change hand, 
each time. If they're struggling, stay down low, tuck the hips in, squeeze back here, elbow in line with our shoulder, feet shoulder apart, hold from there, make it a bit harder, feet in and a bit close from there, just makes it a bit harder for our coordination side to side to side. Otherwise, hopefully, they're still pressing up and down, get a bit of work in the arms, a little bit the back of the arms as well, a bit in the chest. Keep this going, we've got another 10 seconds left. If you can, alternate arms each time. Three, two, one, and relax, good. Back up on our feet, still keeping a little slow, working our legs, we're going to go squat pulses. Nice and low, we are going to go in four, three, two, one, and let's go. That's it. Back straight, shoulder blades back, stay as low as we can, just little pulses up and down. If you happen to get some gym equipment before lockdown kicked in and you have one of those mini bands, it's a great exercise with the mini bands. Wrap around your knee, you'll really feel a lot more along here in the glutes as well. If not, you're gonna feel it a lot in the top of the legs after 45 seconds, or maybe right now you might be feeling it. I don't know. I do know, I'm feeling it. I'm assuming you are as well. 10 seconds, keep going. That's it, last five, four, three, two, one, and relax, good. Getting a quick breather. We are back down on the ground. So we're halfway through, four exercises done, four to go. Our next one, that press up position into your shoulder taps, over and back. Three, two, one, and let's go. Tucking the hips in, nice and slowly, over and back. Keeping it going. Good. If you feel like you're shifting too much side to side, slow it down, make your feet a little bit wider. Widen your stance, I should say. You can't physically widen your feet. Keep it going, we've got another 15 seconds. Okay. That's it, over and back. Keep going, two, one, and relax, good. Quick breather, we're right back up with our feet. Just like the warm, we're gonna do our side squats. So feet wide on the shoulder, bit, side to side. At this stage, guys, if you have weights and you feel it's too easy, feel free to bring them in, hold the kettlebell side to side there. If not, it's still gonna work. Three, two, one, and I should have started two seconds ago. So over in the Mac, if you can, point the toes forward, sit right back into it. Don't just lean to the side with the knees over the toes, sit right back. That's not to say there's anything wrong with having your knees over your toes. It's just different for this particular exercise. That's it. Reaching right out here, guys, helps me sit back a bit further. If I don't reach out, I'm afraid I'm gonna fall back through the wall. And I don't really want that, especially since this video is recording. That's not a good idea. Four, three, two, one. Good, and relax. Quick breather, from there, we are right back down. Two exercises left. We're down into our walkouts. So it's a standing up, walk out of that press up position, right back up again, three, two, one. So hands down, press up position, walk out and up. Hands down, press up position, out and up. By all means, if I'm going too slow, up the pace. Just when you get down to the bottom, guys, tuck the hips in. Don't drop the hips down towards the ground because that's putting unnecessary pressure on your lower back and we don't really want to blow our back out while during lockdown. Well, as opposed to not during lockdown. Pretty much at all, we only want to blow our back out. Anyway, let's keep this going. Keeping the legs straight here, guys, helps me work the back of the legs that a little bit more as well. You might feel a bit of a stretch. It's too easy. Bring the feet in a little closer, and time. Okay, quick breather. Last one, we'll get a break after this. We're gonna go down to our mountain climbers, so. Press the position, tucking the hips in, knees in, nice and fast. Three, two, one, and let's go. That's it, knees in, let's go. 
If during this stage you're like, Sean, I can't work hard anymore, I'm too tired, I want you to do a press up position, go slowly in, right back out. That's going to work your core more. Otherwise, keep those knees moving. That's it. Keep going. Almost there. And you're like, wow, 20 seconds. <laughs> keep pushing, keep pushing. A little bit of core here. Obviously, cardio. Bit in the shoulders, trying to keep ourselves up. We're almost there. We got another five. And time. Good, okay. Good work. Quick breather. Get a drink of water if you need to. We got one round done. And we got two more to go. So, it was a great red bottle. Broke during the first lockdown. Haven't been able to replace it since. Um, quick breather, rest up guys. Hopefully you're feeling okay. If you found that that was a bit of a struggle, I will be shouting out the easier exercises again as we go through this next round. If you're like, Sean, too easy. Barely broke a sweat right now. Um, okay, we'll up the pace a little bit for you guys there. We'll make it a little bit harder for the next two rounds. And to make it harder, just while you're getting a quick break there, that first exercise, if reverse lunge is too easy, and I'm gonna stick with the reverse lunges, feel free to have the knee down low, split jumps, over and back, touch that knee down, jump over and back, keep it going for 45 seconds. If you can, if you can, great. If not, do what you can. Go back to a couple of reverse lunges and then back into your split jumps again. With that said, you've had a little bit over a minute break, so I think we're good. Side side rock and roll again. First round, lunges, we're gonna start in three, two, one, and let's go. Like I said, at the end of this exercise, the last round, this is hurting your knees, it was too much in your knees. Regular squats, just like we did in the wall. Slow it right down, do them. You might think, ah, Sean, I know my knees are hurting, that's too easy. Well, you forget, we've also got pulse squats come up as well. Or if you want, you can do squat jumps. It's just something for the legs for these next 45 seconds or so. 15, let's keep going. Over and back. Almost there. Last five. Three, two, one. Good. Get a quick breather. Our next exercise, we are up into our jumper jacks. Jumper jacks, 45 seconds. This is too easy. Make it a bit harder. Maybe do side jumps, feet and hands in. Big jumps, right back out, back in again. Three, two, one. Let's go. Staying on our toes. So we just want a cardio exercise here. So maybe it's those side jumps. Maybe it's running on the spot, you know, going as fast as you can run the spot. Or, like I'm doing right now, into my jumping jacks. Just trying to keep moving. That's the main thing. Not getting injured is the main thing. Apart from that, trying to keep moving. Doing what you can, keep going. That's it. Let's keep pushing. Last couple of seconds. Well, 10, 10 seconds. Keep going, keep going. Almost there. And time, good. Our next exercise, we're down. That plank variation, we're going up and down. If you want to work more core, that's too easy. By all means, hips up and down, or straighten out the legs, right back in, or walk your feet in as much as you can, walk your feet out as much as you can, it's gonna work there. Whoa, well past time, let's go. Up. Right back down. That's it. Let's keep going. Up, down, change all the opposite side, up and down. Although I like keeping this one in personally, just because there's not too much of an arm workout today. So it's nice to get that in. Try to make a little bit of balance today on all the major muscle groups that we could. And um, we've got another 10 seconds here, guys. If you ever start to struggle here, drop down into a regular plank and go from there. Three. And time. Good. Right back up onto our feet. Our next exercise are squat pulses. Low squat, pulse and left from there. Starting in three, two, one. 
And let's go. Nice and low. That's it. Hold there. If you want a different kind of challenge, maybe you can do a wall sit here. So if you're watching this video back and going, ah, I want to do something different here. Go for a wall sit. If you've got a weight, hold that weight as close as you can. Hold it in from there for the 40 seconds or 45 seconds, I should say. And just keep going. So we should feel this on the legs. I'm not going to lie, I'm a little high up. I could probably go a little bit lower into that pulse. And I'm completely, completely regretting saying that out loud. Keep it going. Five seconds, come on, hold there. Don't get up just yet. Keep going, keep going. Time, good. Quick breather. Back into our uh, shoulder taps over and back. I'm not gonna lie, almost forgot. Five seconds into our shoulder taps. Keep this one nice and slow. Three, two, one, and let's go. Slowly over and back. So we're working our core here. Obviously our arms, obviously our shoulders. Upper back a little bit as well. Is it? Yeah, kind of. Just keep it going. Try and keep those hips as still as we can. Hands as close as we can to align with chest. It's gonna make it harder for you. A lot of people have their hands out here. Now switch it side to side any which way. Hands in line with your chest, guys. As much as you can. Keep it going. 10 seconds. Keep going, keep going. Almost there. Time, we are there. Okay, our next one, back onto our feet. It's back into your side to side. If you wanna make this more difficult, maybe try one of the jump, one leg up, and do your bounce over and back that way. Make it a little bit harder if you don't have a weight to do side lunges. We should have started already. <laughs> so, over and back. Or, like I was just doing there, you can step into it, guys. Depending on the space you have, step in. Sit right back as low as you can, or the easier version. Feet wide and shoulder width, and just going side to side over max. So, stepping into it, those side bounds and single leg, alternating leg with the jump over Mac, or this version. Let's keep this going. 15 seconds. That's it. Over and back. Sitting down nice and low into it. We're almost there. And relax. Time. Two minutes to go, guys. And then we've got one more round after this. So our next one is our walkouts. If you want to make this more difficult, after each walkout, try on a push-up. I'll demonstrate that now in three, two, one, and let's go. So walk out, push-up, in, right back up. Up the pace if you need to on each one. Otherwise, nice and slow out, in, up. Now pace yourself out for a 45. If I'm going too slow for you, pace, go fast with me. Go as fast as you can. Well, keeping form is the main thing though. Don't get sloppy. Don't get sloppy in any of these exercises. Form is the most important thing. 15 seconds. That's it. Keep it going. Almost there. Last five. Three. Two, one, time, good. Last one, we're back down the ground. Into our mountain climbers, going as fast as we can. 45 seconds, it's two sore on the shoulders. Up onto our feet, high knees instead. We just want fast cardio, three, two, one. Let's go. That's it. Obviously, if we're on the mountain climbers, we'll get a bit more of a core workout here than you would with the high knees, but if you struggle to do it, and your arms are too sore, by all means, go into that high knees. Or slow it down, like I said in the first round. Get that core workout. It looks a lot easier. That, that go really fast. But it's actually a lot harder on your core. By going slow and control. Sometimes you need to do that. 15 seconds to a break. Good. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. Push it out. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Almost there. Three, two. One, time. Okay, getting a breather, guys. Now that we know the options we have, now as you're saying to yourself, Sean, don't feel like I'm pushing myself too much. Go with the harder options. So, 
We're going to break for a minute. So we'll stand there saying, Sean, I need to, uh, I'm not feeling this out of breath. How do you look right now? Let me think, it's very warm in here. That's why I'm sweating. It's very warm. Lights are making me sweat. It's, it's tough. Long t-shirt, bad idea. These are heavy shorts. That's why I'm sweating. It's tough. It's uh, very, very warm. Work out something easy either. Maybe it's something to do with that. I don't know. But anyway, uh, maybe it's all the water up there. I'm just sweating at the water. That's all this. Just sweating at the water. Anyway, um, we have eight minutes left. Eight minutes. I want you to push yourself for eight minutes. Back those reverse lunges. Too easy. Split jumps. Do what you can. Let's push as hard as you can. We've only got eight minutes left. That's the workout done for the evening. In your racks. Sit back. Watch Netflix. Watch Shamu. I don't care what you're watching. Um, just chill for the rest of that evening. Know you get the workout in. And then we're right back at it again on Thursday. Switching up something different. Don't want to always have a 45 15. Just because it will wreck my head. Doing the same exercise for these next six weeks, just switching up in terms of exercise. We'll switch up the formats and stuff like that as well. Keep changing up for you guys all the time. For myself as well, um, because not like, especially with bodyweight exercises like this, if you're working for um, cardio, sweat, and just getting up and moving, it's nice to switch things up. Now, if you're in a gym, strength training session, you probably shouldn't switch things up. You should probably see yourself improve week on week on those same exercises. So if you've got a gym program there, focus on, on, on improving that over the next couple of weeks. But in terms of cardio like this, you just want to hit it as fast as you can and, and go. Yeah, and with that said, ooh, two minute break there. I'm getting soft. Reverse lunges, three, two, one, and let's go. That's it, right back. Getting the knee down, nice and low. Over and back. Once again, guys, don't forget those split jumps are an option as well for you. Good. Let's keep this going. Over and back. Let the knee touch the ground. I know it's a third round. I shouldn't be showing that technique advice. But by letting the knee touch the ground just ever so slightly, it can, uh, it can just tell you that your first rep is very similar to your last rep instead of you going halfway and cheating and cheating each time, going a little bit higher that back knee. Get that back knee right down. These last couple of seconds, time. Good. Quick breather. Next one, jumping jacks. As fast as we can. We got time. We got lots of time. We got another three seconds. Two, one, and let's go. Let's push, guys. Come on, let's take it to another level. Let's keep this going. If you've got that Spotify playlist going in the background, blare it up. You guys already know the news. I've already taught you how to do them. So blare it up. Go as fast as you can. Drown me out. Keep going. That's it. Come on. We're almost there. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. Good. Push, 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 push. Almost there. I feel like I stopped that by accident because it says only 20 seconds gone. I definitely feel like it was longer. So if this goes longer in the video, <laughs> you know why. Or maybe it is 45. I think it just felt like a very long 15 seconds for me. Otherwise, we, we are still going. Ah, oh, time did stop. Sugar. I'm going to say another five seconds, guys. Four, three, two, one. Technology issues. So I'm going to reset that. Get a quick breather, go again. On the clock, I probably had a different time for you guys, so uh, tech issues, blame me. I did say at the start that my timing's not always right. I do struggle with technology from time to time. Pack the press up, we're gonna assume 15 seconds is over in three, two, one, and let's go. Up and down, up and down. Good. Let's keep this going. Over and back. Twenty seconds gone. Change arm each time if you can't remember. Doesn't make too much difference if every second or third you don't change arm. Last ten seconds, guys. Keep going. Keep going. Almost there. Three, 
two, one, good. Breather, we are right back up into our squat poses, I believe. Squat poses next. Going in five, four, three, two, one, and let's go. Okay, so it turns our next session, go to the clock situation. Stay nice and low, hold out from there. Come on, keep going. Feel it burn the legs. If it's too easy, three pulses in, one jump up. Three pulses in, one jump up. Keep that going. Otherwise, stick with these pulses. Almost there, keep going, keep going. Last couple of seconds. Almost there, five seconds. And time. Good, get a breather. We're right back into our next exercise. Let's just show the taps over, Mac. We've got four minutes, roughly four minutes, unless I'm making a mistake in the clock. And then we're done. Three, two, one, and let's go. Slowly over and back. Good. Nice and slow. Keep the hips as still as we can. Side to side. We've got another 15 seconds to go on this one, guys. 15 seconds. And we've got three exercises after this. Almost there. Three, two, one, and time. Good. Back up onto our feet. Three more to go. Our next one. We are into our side lunges, side squats. Uh, maybe it's a jump over a mat. Whatever you're feeling right for right now, let's go with that. Three, two, one. Let's go, right over, and back, over, and back, good, sit right down into it, sit your hips right back, those arms are stretch, so we do not fall over, toes pointing forward, feel like you're getting sloppy, slow down for a second, and get right back into it, or step it out, keep it going, we are almost there. We're almost, I mean, another 15 seconds. Whew. That's it. Right back, right back. Ah, for the love of it, stop to get on me. This has never happened before. <laughs> Good. Keep going, keep going. Uh, time. Good. Quick breather. Technology issues, huh? Okay. Last two. Into our walkouts. Right back up. We are gonna start. Three, two, one, and let's go. Out and back. Out, back. Out, back. Once again, too easy. Show in that push up, right down, up. Have the hands in line with our chest, elbows back. Nice and low to the ground. Back up again with your push ups. Let's keep this going. Sometimes you just have to laugh. <laughs> I'm back. Keep it going, keep it going. Well, extra couple of reps. Never harmed. Push, push, push. Almost there. Three, two, one. Time. Good. Get a breather. We got one more to go. Last one, mountain climbers, nice and fast, hopefully for 45 seconds. <laughs> Steady, three, two, one, let's go. That's it, hips down, knees in, 45. Pace yourself out, try and keep going for the full 45 seconds, or if you want, take a burst of five as fast as you can. Slow down, fast you can. Slow it down, and keep pushing that way. 
whatever you think is going to make you work the hardest over these next 20 seconds. 15. Final 10. Five. And time. Good. Okay, breather. Good work, guys. Awesome work. Let's get a quick drink of water there. So, technology issues aside, these things happen. Gotta just brush them off. Keep moving with it. Um, great work. Let me know in the comment section how you found this workout. Too easy, too difficult. Um, and then we'll, we'll, keep, we'll, keep, we'll keep moving from there, guys. So let me know how you got on this workout. And uh, we'll keep building on that over the weeks and, and months ahead. Um, thanks for watching the video. And yes, that's pretty much it for me, guys. Good work. Take care. Work and home life getting in the way of your health and fitness goals? We've listened and we're here to help. Any Given Training Day is here to bring you on a more active journey through life. Not only will you have us motivating and supporting you, but you can also engage with other members online and seek their support. This is a community of health and fitness. It's about getting involved and encouraging a better, healthier lifestyle for all. We want to bring personalised training to you and make it accessible anytime and anywhere. We have handpicked leaders for several sporting disciplines to support and guide you in taking on challenges you never believed were possible. So go on, take the most difficult step, the first one. Join today and be the change you want in your life. Now that wasn't a hard video to get through now was it? I hope you guys got some value out of the video. If you did, please leave a thumbs up and subscribe to the Coach Scott channel which is somewhere here. And um, hit that button, subscribe to the Coach Scott channel, leave a thumbs up. There should be a couple of other videos around here for you guys to check out. And that's all from me, Coach John. Take care.